So KPIs are, are a great way to look at how, how much work's being done. Okay. Uh, number of uh, data subject requests that come in number of uh, privacy impact assessments that you've completed, uh, number of reviews that you've done with your product team, um, number of engagements or training awareness that you've completed across the company. Mm -hmm. When we talk about KPIs, one of the, the key factors that I think is, is really important is based on the size of the company, based mm -hmm. on the um, awareness of the company around their maturity mm -hmm. is a very key factor in driving those KPIs because those KPIs are going to change over time. No. When you when you have a, a young company or a, a lower maturity level because they're just starting out, mm -hmm. one of the key factors is really to understand how much is coming in. How many mm -hmm. things are we seeing? How many times are we engaging with the other teams? Are we really talking to the engineering team about possible situations that could occur from new products, mm -hmm. How, you know, privacy by design. Um, and then as the company matures, yes, you want to know how many DSARs you've received. You want to know how fast they've been processed. Are you meeting the regulatory? But then you also have the components of, are you doing what you need to from a regulatory standpoint? Mm -hmm. You know, are you conducting internal reviews to make sure that your your um, processing documentation is accurate? Are you making sure that you have um, owners for each processing activity? Are you validating that processing activity against your privacy policy for consent? So as the company grows, as things happen, and, you know, everybody wants to to take on more and more work and grow a company, you've got to do it in stages. So Indeed. I'm I'm a very firm believer in don't eat the elephant all at once, tackle what you can, but continue to have that plan to move forward. 